Hello, this is Linda Grace Cox with msrelief.com and I am here in Dr. Balshi's office for my sixth stem cell treatment and I'm really grateful for the opportunity and I'm thankful that Dr. Balshi is able to answer questions and he always has answered questions about the, the actual treatment and you guys will have to look at the other videos to learn more about the actual treatment. Right now I'm just going to ask him specifics about more details. So, Dr. Balshi, I um. I have been, you know, this is my sixth stem cell treatment. Do you, how many times, do you think it still has positive benefits? How many times should I continue to do this? Well, um, a part of that question I don't think we can truly answer um, because every case is different, every individual is different. Um, so I think we can continue with this as long as um, we're making improvements. And obviously, in your situation, you're returning because each time you've had improvement. Um, and hopefully, we'll get to a point where you don't have to come back. Um, but I can't say for sure how many more it may take or may not take. Um, but for sure, we are making progress. And we can continue as long as you're willing. Okay. I'm willing. Okay, great, great. Okay, and we are. This is, it is I've had wonderful improvement. So, okay, the next question is, I have a friend who is in worse condition than I am when I started. When, well, when I started with my first treatment, I was, um, I was looking at in-home health care. I was doing so poorly. And now, and I'm, I've had improvements so strongly. But I'm wondering, my friend is also a patient of yours, and she's getting ready for, to come for her second treatment. And, but she is in a wheelchair. And so I'm wondering, is she going to have... Is you know I, I, she's looking to me for hope, All right? And and I'm thinking she's so far. I'm wondering what are her chances. Well, again, you know, everyone um, has a different situation. Um, some cases progress more rapidly than others. You know, some conditions are relatively stable. Um, so it depends on where that patient is starting from. Um, the good news is there's hope for everyone no matter how severe their situation may be. Um, and I have seen some people who have been in wheelchairs um, be able to walk first with, you know, a walker and canes, um, and even go so far as to be able to, to climb stairs. So it's, you know, anything really is possible, but that individual would have to be evaluated and really put, I think, reasonable expectations on what can be achieved. Okay, thank you. Sure. And and see and I and I have felt that. I can you know, I started swimming and I can swim fifteen laps at the pool and then I come home from swimming and I can step up the stairs. Not step not one step and then you know, really like climb the stairs. It's really fun and exciting. Beautiful. So okay. My next question is about incontinence. I know that there's a, a large number of people who suffer with MS, that suffer from incontinence, and I learned that it's a very complicated situation. It's not all about the bladder. It has to do with the nerves and the brain and the spine and, and in the base of the brain and, and, and um, the pelvic nerves. And, then, and so right. I'm wondering if, if it's possible to, if the stem cell treatment might help me with incontinence. It certainly is possible. Um, somewhere along that complicated pathway there's been damage, um, most likely in the nerve sheath. That's what MS is all about. Um, so the beauty of the stem cell is it can recognize damage and repair it. Um, and at least at this point in our treatment we can't really control what the stem cells will find to repair, it, it seems like they go after what might be the most inflamed tissue at the moment. Um, but they can recognize any tissue that's injured. So hopefully in your case, it'll start to recognize that part of the pathway that's been damaged at some point. Okay, there's one more question. Oh, but um, do, you, do you know that, or not do you know that, 
What's, do you know what the difference is between the different types of stem cell treatment? Because I hear a lot about the um, embryonic cord stem cell treatment in bone marrow. Right. And you do the liposuction and do the, what's the name of it? So, it what starts with an M? They're mesenchymal stem cells. Mesenchymal stem cells. Right. So, so do you know what's the difference between that and the other kinds? The other um, well, in theory, embryologic stem cells are an earlier um, stem cell in the evolution of stem cells. So if they were easily available and abundant, um, it may be even more dramatic as far as the results go. The problem is um, we can't really get our hands on embryonic stem cells, particularly your own. Um, but what we have found in fat are stem cells that are very, very early. In fact, we call them embryonic-like stem cells. And they're, they're all over the vascular chur in the, in the fat. So we're finding that because there's so many in fat um, that, and easily available, you know, with a little bit of liposuction, that we can really harness their ability to help heal. Okay, okay. Without any ethical issues of... What about the bone marrow? So bone marrow is like um, fat as far as the quality of stem cells. Um, but there's less in number in mm -hmm. bone marrow. Um, the beauty of bone marrow is they continue to churn them out. Um, so again, it's, it just comes down to sheer numbers and ease of access okay. with that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's great. I know that we'll be back again in six months. Okay. And I'll watch and see how this progresses. I feel like I've had such great um, progress. And so, you know, maybe it'll be even so good that we won't be back. Right. But I, but I, you know, probably. So I thank you so <laughs> we'll much. And My pleasure. So come and visit me at msrelief.com and learn more.